Okay, we now welcome on a very special guest. It is comedian, actor. That's you were right. In, you were in some shit, I'm right? In some fucking shit, baby. It is uh, podcaster. That's right. From the famous podcast Come Town, which I love that. We'll get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, It yeah. is Stavros. I'm not even going to attempt to say your last name. I think you got it, if you believe in yourself. Halkios? P really good, actually. Pretty close? Actually, that's how it... The as is a real Greek pronunciation. Most people butcher it. You nailed it. Okay. Yeah. Stavros Halkios. Nailed it. Nailed it. Beautiful. Uh, he is a very, very funny dude. This is... It's, it's, it's really funny that you're here because, you know, we'll have big celebrities, athletes, and stuff, but when the word spread that you were coming to this office, <laughs> the amount of people that came up to me like, dude, is Stav coming in? Is Stav coming in? I'm like, yeah, he's coming in. Yeah. So you have a ton of fans here, and you obviously are very, very successful. You have a new stand-up uh, coming out on YouTube. That's right. Your special, which is called Live at the Lodge Room, yes, sir. June 5th. Let's talk about that, because you- Let's do it. You-, you basically funded this yourself right yeah yeah for sure i um well first of all i want to say that doesn't surprise i mean it sounds like it's funny that like this office i would have a lot of fans because my main demographic is uh losers in their 20s <laughs> so it yeah, does, fuck boys. i took yeah. a little i took a little peek around the office lines right up <laughs> 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 i see a lot of my core fan base in here bubba's laughing a little too hard <laughs> yeah no bubba bubba's no, definitely no one, one of no them one hits home. <laughs> yeah sorry he buddy. was like i'm so excited for stop <laughs> i will say the, what i left out to be polite was that don't get pussy yeah. uh, <laughs> but you know bubba looks like you get pussy dude yeah you're a cute kid. Oh, you're a little pussy. Yeah, yeah. There you <laughs> go. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. There's yes. a there's a lot of that in this office. I love it. That's my guys. That's that's who I was. Don't forget in my fucking early twenties. And now you're you've now, graduated you're a superstar. to superstar. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm a yes. Now I, I was a caterpillar who became a just a fatter caterpillar. <laughs> but who, who gets the fuck now? There's no butterfly situation. But yeah, no things are good, man. So and, uh, yeah. So the special. Let's talk about it because you <clears throat> did you pitch it? Yeah. So. It's pretty hard. Like, it is funny because, I mean, you guys understand this company is kind of like it where um, you guys are huge and, like, Twitch is huge and all this shit. And podcasts are big. And it's like mainstream media people don't understand that. They don't. You know? So, and I had some inroads with some, like, places where I could have, like, you know, I had, we were having some discussions about places, but the pay was dog shit. And it's like, no one is really going to push a relatively unknown guy's. Like comedy, like Netflix doesn't give a fuck about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I got on Netflix, it would be buried underneath like dating while autistic or whatever the fuck, yeah. you know? It would be like, <laughs> if it's some guy in like a dolphin prosthetic trying to get his dick sucked would get way more like algorithm love than I would. And and so I just figured like, I had a couple friends who did this, like Sam Morell, very funny, Mark Norman. <clears throat> Shane Gillis did it. Shane, yeah. great special. Which Fucking is very, very special. funny, yeah. Yeah, Shane did it, which is awesome. And... I just said, fuck it, I don't want to like, and even if I was going to do it with people, it was going to take forever to get out, and it's like, I shot this thing in December, and I'm like, let's just get it out there, and then I just kind of like, for fun, started posting on YouTube, just to, just like some throwaway crowd work clips, and people seemed to really fucking like it, so I was like, fuck it, my YouTube channel's big, I just want people to see it, because... Most people know me as a podcaster, which is hysterical, I mean... Come town. Yeah, come town, it's yeah. like... Which is like, look, the show's great. Literally took my family out of poverty, so I can't be mad about Come Town. But imagine if the dumbest thing you've ever done is what popped you huge, and the thing that you—I mean, kind of. Kind yeah, of you're yeah, talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, you're right. No, we, you were probably <laughs> the only people who can understand this. You were yes, part yeah. of like, yeah. the, the great renaissance we're, of podcasting. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, nodding yeah, our heads like, like you know, yep, yep, like that 20, sounds good. Yeah, you guys like, I don't get it. It makes sense. Why don't you guys have a huge Come Town office? Yeah, where you can just fucking. It was like it was like Come Town part of my take and Chapo started. Yes, like, it in, was in, nice in the same couple of years. And so the that, Holy Trinity. It's kind of beautiful. It's beautiful that you guys have like so much shit that people could use as ammunition against you yes but it's all out there and it's all part of the story it's all documented and yeah. it's like we are what we are and, and for you in particular like doing the show the way the way that you're doing it like you've got your audience built in yeah you don't need netflix to help you promote it and for them to take a cut out of it totally and to like get into a big messy contract situation with them you can do it all yourself yeah and uh, dude more than anything i just want people to see it because yeah. i don't think like people think of me as a stand-up comic and it's like the thing I've dedicated my entire life to, you know, and the right. thing that I think I'm the best at, like, podcasting's whatever. I honestly think podcasting is, I mean, we're really pulling the biggest scam of all time over on people. This is complete bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, and, but it takes no effort if you happen to know how to fucking talk. 
you just fucking waltz into an easy like we kind of all hit a lottery here oh yeah like, if we were born three years earlier three years later we're all broke well it, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, like, and, <laughs> and it is one of those funny things we, we've talked about it before but like when you tell someone you podcast you can't like sound like a bigger loser a hundred percent and it's it's always funny when i'll like say it and i'm getting now into like because i have kids and i'll be like saying it at like birthday parties Ooh. for a three-year-old <laughs> and i'll have to be like but but my podcast does make money yeah, like, yeah, 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 like yeah, let me yeah, just yeah, follow yeah. it up with that there needs to be a different word <laughs> yeah, for successful podcast right. you know every time I say, they're like what do you do it's like i podcast like they just look at me like what yeah yeah are yeah, you yeah, okay yeah. 100%, like 100 i just used to lie and be like i i do i do a radio show it wasn't a full lie yes. because at the time i was doing like 45 minutes a day on sirius sure and i would just be like tell anybody new yeah i do i do a yeah strip. my mom thought like that yeah. was was a big deal when I got that radio show on Sirius, which I did not give a fuck about. Yes, like I yes, sat yes, down in yes. a chair for forty five minutes and, and then left. And my mom was like, "Oh my god, you're on Sirius Radio. That's incredible. I can listen yeah. to you now." It's like, mom, that, yeah. I really don't care. That's the stand up special. The stand up special mm -hmm. now feels like, hey, I have a stand up special. And it's true. It's funny you say that because it's like radio. No one gives a fuck about. It. And on some level. I understand that no one cares about stand up that much. Like podcasting. Oh, I disagree. Well, I love. You guys like, are the big truth tellers. Yeah. I, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without <laughs> you, society crumbles. That's why we right. gotta protect people from attacking uh, Chris Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah if anybody oh. slaps you, I will fucking choke them. That out. was yeah. the best when comedians were like. This was an attack on freedom of speech. <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. It's what we tell yeah. pussy jokes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no one gives a fuck. Well, we had Judd Apatow in the next day. Oh, And he hilarious. was like, he was number one on like, this is assault. Dude, that's so fucking <laughs> funny. It's, that's, first of all, Chris Rock and Will Smith, the comedians that were posting about it, it's like, you have nothing in common with Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, you are right. not, you are only tech, the way like some guy says he's a podcaster, yeah. some guy off the street has like 30 followers, says he's, the way you and that guy have something in common with podcasting, that's the way most people posting about Chris Rock had, you know what I mean? Like they're only stand-ups in name only. Right. This is a fucking million, two of the most famous guys of all time slapped each other. It was hilarious. Right. It was really <laughs> fucking funny that somebody got slapped at the Oscars. Yeah. Some guy who's been publicly cut, who's, the most the most beloved man in the world was cucked so hard his brain melted 30 minutes before he was going to win his oscar yeah. like it, it was incredibly incredible timing will smith has been the most like scientologist manicured like yes. public persona Jada got so much dick on the side that it fucking melted his brain and he slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. I mean, he was just going to win his Oscar. Yeah. It was, if that's not fucking funny to you, then what's the, that's hysterical. Yeah, like the oh. biggest superstar act, one of the biggest superstar actors slapped the biggest superstar yeah. comic yeah. of the last 25 years because he made a joke about his wife that he only cared about the joke because he looked over at his wife and he was like, Oh, she's mad. She's probably gonna fuck somebody else yeah, yeah, unless yeah, I slap yeah. Chris Rock for this. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very funny situation. It's and hysterical. It's, but now people are like, you know, we're great truth tellers out there, and like, I, yeah. it could be me next. It could, yeah, exactly. Oh, really? It's you next at fucking Magooby's Joke House, <laughs> in, which is my home club. I love it in Timonia, Maryland. No one is slapping you because you're like, what the? F my, I don't get. My wife doesn't suck my dick enough. <laughs> it's like no one is about to slap you. You fucking loser. I hated that shit because it's like. We're complete. I, I come from a very like comedians or clowns perspective, right. right? I'm not, listen, I'm not making any fucking points. I'm not a point maker. I'm here to have a good ass time. You know what I mean? Just fucking talk about my sexual like embarrassments. Like comedians should be getting embarrassed. Right. In many ways, ha getting slapped is the most comedian thing possible. The only thing I would have liked is if Chris Rock would have been like, I mean, it, how awesome would it have been if it's like, if he just talked about Jada. Again, getting, getting yeah. cock yeah. on the side at the Oscars. That's yeah, the right. only thing that heightens that. <laughs> if he's like, oh, it smelled like August Alcina's finger. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some, he just said something. Yeah. You know he wanted to in his heart. I saw it. You mm -hmm. can see the like little flicker because Chris Rock could have done that. Oh, he, he could have just to. eviscerated. Hundred yeah. percent. He just like you know he's like it was just a big moment and you know he he's a little too to rich audience. probably. You yeah. Know what I mean, maybe Chris Rock thirty years ago does it, twenty years ago does it, but that's what I'm saying. He's the fucking institution now. He can't. He can't be firing back with the tr with the actual truth. Stav would have done it. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, would have loved you. Would've. I I pray. That's the other thing. If you're a real comedian, you should be begging Will Smith to slap you. Yeah, like it'd you be know, the greatest like, thing in your it career. Would be the best thing in the fucking world. <laughs> All right. So you mentioned uh, we we mentioned Come Town. You mentioned Come Town. It is always funny just to say it out loud. Yes, of course. Um, I would imagine some of those like if you you've probably been in like agent meetings and stuff. 
and they yeah, have to yeah, say yeah. that. Is they have that to say, Come what's down. most awkward? It's a hilarious podcast. If you don't know it, like you, you should listen to it because it's very, very funny. No, you shouldn't. It's, it's you should not listen to the podcast. The Nick podcast Mullen is over. And Adam it's, it's bad. It'll ruin your brain. <laughs> it will ruin no, your brain. Don't listen to but it. But you'll you'll get addicted first, and then you'll realize, yes. oh fuck, this ruined my brain. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but what what like. The name alone is just so funny. Has there been moments where you're like, oh, I wish we had named it something, anything else? No, I think actually like, well, first of all, I thought it was going to be a complete failure for sure. I thought for who sure. Who came up with, who started it? Uh, I mean, it was Mullen's idea. Yeah. Um, and we were just, at the time, I had just moved to New York. I was literally living in a fucking windowless room. Like I had one of those fake rooms where it's, it's like, like. not fire code safe. No, not fire code safe at all. No, yeah, like literally just. Um, the landlord puts up a wall and he calls it a two bedroom. Yeah, landlord had no out. idea. We fucking just hired a guy to build a room, <laughs> and he was in and out in a day. Salute to that guy. Um, like shit was going real bad. You know what I mean? Like one of the, you could just hear everything going on in the fucking like living room. Like right. you know, if I'm beating off, they can hear. You know what I mean? Like there's no. If I wanted to fuck, I would have to be like, hey, can you guys just clear out of the apartment for for a half hour while I get pussy, and you guys can come back afterwards? Like that situation. And uh, Mullen was freshly out of his uh, illegal tenement in Chinatown. Mm -hmm. So, like, shit was just going bad. And it was the idea of, like, well, let's just fucking hopefully people will come out and see our shows. But I did not think, you're right, there was, like, a second wave of podcasts. I thought podcasts were done. Yeah. Was, like, seven years ago, Marin had already popped. Like, Comedy Bang Bang was big. Like, all that kind of shit was kind of, and I figured, like, we missed it. We missed the boat. I was like, we'll do eight episodes. We'll never speak of this again. We'll be those guys who are like, I'm a podcaster. You know? right. And then it just fucking, it was his idea. We did it. Hysterically, people listened. And it's like one of those things where I keep waiting for it. Like, I've had the same like attitude the whole time where I'm like, well, it's going to end tomorrow. Right. You know what I mean? So it's, now we're going on six years of like, li you know, basically living month to Like, I'm on a month to month lease. But that's a good, yeah. that's a weird and good, like, I, I have something similar where I'm always like, at some point, I'm going to wake up and everyone's going to be like, I don't want to hear you, like you talk yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. And that almost is, I feel like that's a good way to think about it because sure. otherwise you end up with people who like become way out of touch with everything. For sure. No, that's true. I mean, that could be a, that could be a big issue. But, you know, it was, it's been sick. I mean, people have been coming out and it helped me like start my touring, like going on tour. And now it's like touring keeps growing. And I think I just want to fucking get this special out there so people can see like, yeah, I'm, I can fuck it. Because the show is really fucking stupid. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like next level stupid. Yeah. We haven't prepared for one episode once. Is that yeah. true? A hundred percent. So We've never prepared it, you anything. just sit down. Sit down, turn the mics on. We used to, when we really don't feel like doing it, we set a timer on our phones. And when it goes to one hour, the alarm will go off and we'll just shut the thing off. <laughs> the second it's over. <laughs> like, that's like, we've definitely done that before. So when you shut it off, do you keep like doing the podcast, just not recording it? You're just like still talking? Or we'll you're like, talk for three minutes or something. <laughs> you know, like a, like a natural wind down. And then it's like, fellas, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, pleasure, pleasure making thousands of dollars for this. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's funny because like, I think, I think a, an underrated facet of why Come Town was so popular when it started at least in my opinion was um the logo of come yes. town the come on it is, just come is very realistic yeah 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 so yeah, it spells yeah. out the word come town <laughs> yeah. in come on it. that's yes. right and, we uh, wanted to yeah we wanted to make sure there was no no getting around what yeah. come meant it's like no no there's no new synonym there's no yeah. nothing yeah. Yeah. this it, is jism i thought it was, thought it was a double of come. Yeah. a double entendre until i opened it up and looked down at my phone i was like no, it's just a town of cum. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think like the, the second or third episode I was listening to, I was on an airplane, and you do that thing where you turn your phone onto like the uh, the silent screen or whatever, and then it opens up again, and the person next to me looked over at my phone, and it was just cum. Yeah, just... It was just giant cum on my screen. Which is like, weirder than if you were watching podcast. gay porn. Right. You yeah, know what I mean? It's a like, weird <laughs> thing. Yeah. Like two guys kissing. It's like, all right, that guy's gay. He's just looking at cum? I'm, yeah. He's just looking no. at a cum splatter? I, I'm listening to cum. Yeah, you're listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's an audio version of cum. Yeah, just some guy beating off into a bucket over and over again. <laughs> looped over again. <laughs> but it's crazy, you guys. So you guys really don't prepare because I think that's, you know, there's, we we have something similar where sometimes people think like we don't do anything or like when we're on the road, they'll be like, oh, you guys coming out to party. It's like, no, we actually got to work. Course, there's yeah, a lot yeah. that goes into it. Yeah. But you guys just sit down and, and let it fly. 
Yeah, I mean, you guys also like sports. Is like I do. I actually do a. I should plug the basketball podcast I do on the biggest sports show. <laughs> but I do a basketball podcast with Sam Morrill uh, called Pod Don't Lie, and that we don't. I was really... with him this morning. Yeah, I was with him. Really? Two yeah, days he's, ago. he's 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 uh, Julian Edelman. Yes. He's doing the show with he him. He had to take a leave of absence during the playoffs. Uh, I've been doing it myself, but we've been doing the show for years, and it's fu- Sam is fucking hilarious and just such a deranged Knicks fan that it's like our. Our like dynamic is great because I get to just troll him about that, right? Um, like you know, he's RJ. He's like RJ is going to be. He, he keeps saying like RJ is Jimmy Butler. Like, he keeps <laughs> saying that, you know, and he's not joking at all. And anyway, um, but that even a show that we don't prepare for a sports show, you got to at least watch the game. Right. You got to fucking look at a couple box scores. You know what I mean? This is truly nothing. Right. Like, literally, we'll just sit down and just start recording. Well, I think it it is a testament to like. When you think about the popular podcasts, I think the 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 main thing behind them is like the uh, relationship that everyone has on the show. Right. Like you guys being friends. When we sit down, we're, you know, our relationship, and now we've grown it to like where we have like five or six guys in the room. All of our interactions is really what people are listening. True. To. Yeah. For sure. For, for more sure. than anything. Yeah, so yeah. how is that like? Because you guys are all friends, but how has that evolved over time? Like, I, I mean, I, I more of the question is specifically like, how can Adam take so much shit <laughs> over this amount of time and never just flip out and be like, "Fuck you guys"? Um, I think because yeah, I when think, you guys just started calling him a bug, yeah, yeah, for yeah. like a year, <laughs> yeah, 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 that was so mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a matter of just getting like uh, the thing is, whatever happens during the podcast, my personal philosophy is, I'm eating an hour. I'm not stopping anything. Whatever's going, and Nick loves to Nick loves to abuse Adam. So I'm like, well, this is a good way to eat time. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> bullying one of my dearest friends and you know making his life difficult. As long as it gets my job done quicker. <laughs> and then this, the podcast you couldn't is be over. more complicit. Have yeah. You seen, have you seen? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> have you guys ever seen those like really fu- like those like um, crazy like bondage pornos where they're like in a fucking what was it called? Like kink.com. It was something. And they had like a, they had like a, they would fuck these girls up, right? Like really fuck the shit out of them. And they're all bound and shit. And afterwards, there'd be like the moment where they're like, you were so great. You're either they're having like, <laughs> what's called aftercare, after extreme sex, where they like kiss them on the cheeks and they give them a water. And you're like, you're a princess. That's what I do with Adam after every episode. <laughs> where I'm just like, I'm so sorry for what we just did to you. you did I did, you did great. Yeah. You're a great guy. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. But it's like, this is, this is so much better than preparing for even one second it's just it's just, it's just, we're just wrecking you has but. he ever flipped out has he ever gotten like really defensive to the point where where he like uh you can tell there's genuine anger there i mean yeah i mean we've done this show for so long that i think at all at different points all of us have hated the like there's been like a fuck that guy fuck whatever it's like i mean there yeah there's definitely been especially at he's the only one who's probably deserved yeah to, to do that but it's like you know it's all in the fu- in the grand scheme of things, it's all you know. It washes out, and it's like I'm sure you got when you work with anyone, it's a no. Like you like butt heads when you see right. them all the time, even if it's even if the job isn't being shit on. So mm-hmm. it's like when the job is being shit on, you're gonna be like, all right. And, and it, there's there's something that that gets lost, I think, with with a lot of audiences. Is like a little bit of tension here and that there doesn't mean that like things are falling apart. Yeah, yeah. You know I, what mean, I mean, things are falling apart for Compton. We are definitely gonna, <laughs> okay, we are 100 yeah. percent gonna stop the show soon, and it's you know whatever, but. Um, but but absolutely th- in the past it's been like and I think that's all that also is what's funny about the show is that like it should not the, the, the one thing that I think the reason as a comedian what I like about it is that it's almost like the producers of podcasting where it's like this should not work right we hate the show like at times one has hated the other at t- you know we're very unprofessional there's no anything we don't prepare we don't not everything the the name is horrible and it just people keep fucking listening it works and at this point it's like stop what the fuck else do we have to do to get you to stop listening to this shitty show it's good but it, it will like- never track and it's like we'll keep doing it until it and we'll try to destroy it, but it will never be destroyed. <laughs> but it's because it's fuck. It's so fucking annoying. The, honestly, the listeners are like they're kind of perverted. Yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. like getting into this, hundred percent, and for like knowing the different what they're forcing you guys to do, like yeah, week yeah, after week. Yeah, yeah, And they definitely get off on that. But also, it's like it's a double edged sword because you have an audience that 
will you know see that you're putting out a special they know they like the marketing has already been done for them yeah, over the yeah, years yeah. of just getting to know you and putting you guys through hell they're like I know this guy I don't need to see a commercial on TV for his set right like I already identify yeah, with and him so I'm gonna go check him out totally and like as annoying as the show can be whatever it's like the vast majority of the fans fucking rule and it's like as you guys know it's like that make your life possible yeah. right you know what I mean and it's like the, the ones that can be annoying are the ones where one thing they definitely don't understand is like the tension or even even mo 99.9 percent .9 of the time shitting on each other is a complete joke right and we right. know it none of us no nobody fucking gives a fuck we have our own thing worked out we you know and and what they're seeing is like one percent of our lives like right. this is not who we are right and the people that don't understand that who are like like they're like the the kids that thought Power Rangers were real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's no, like, it's it's like you guys. I'm sure it's good up same this exact shit all the time because you know we obviously we have cameras rolling all the time. Yeah. So people will like take that one bit and be like, oh my god, this is fucked up. It's yeah. like, dude, do you know how much time there that happens <laughs> yeah, in between yeah, these? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you hear, uh, you know, like even this podcast, you hear like six hours a week. Right. Do you know how much time there is totally. on the other side of that? Hundred percent. Where it's like, yeah, it, th that part does. When, when people are like, how could you do that? It's like, dude, it's we're doing I a podcast. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, right. I said that three <laughs> right. months ago. Never, th I forgot I said it. <laughs> right, so yeah, right. suck my dick. I don't right. give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, but, but yeah, to your point, it's like, that's cool. And that's why I kind of wanted to put it on YouTube. It's like, I could have probably made a little more money. And like, I'm in 40K on this thing. Like, I put up my own money to shoot it, to promote it, to like edit it, all this stuff. But I just want people to see it. Like how I many? Do, how many people have to watch to get that back? Dude, let's put it. Let's uh, give it everyone a, a number. nice amount. Bro. How many? I don't know. I didn't give do the a number. Math. That's how much I don't give a fuck about money. That no, we a, need. We need. We need people know, to you, just you, keep you hitting. You guys it. must have a like, fucking YouTubeologist out here. No, I don't no? know shit about Pete? that. Can we get no. Pete in here? Yeah. Where's, Pete? Where's Pete's bitch ass at? Pete let's get him in here. You nailed Pete. You know exactly. No, Pete is a bitch. He can't come. He literally is anti cum boy. Oh, he cannot come. Is he on antidepressants? No, he got a vasectomy. So we just told everyone that he can't come anymore. Puffs. And he and then, just like the Joker, yeah. the Joker right. gun. And then he, yeah. a, flag, a flag comes out that <laughs> yeah. says "Come on it." Yeah. I've literally just boxed him into every now and then. He like whimpers, like I can still come. Yeah. <laughs> so and just getting that on audio yeah. is the best. <laughs> when like a, a man has to say like I can still come. He wants his boys to know he yeah. can still bust. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm a boy. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah, prove it, Pete. Come yeah. jack off right now, motherfucker, and tell us the YouTube numbers. I need to get my money back while you're at it. All right, we'll get the um, YouTube up. <laughs> Steph, I was a big fan of the Pipecast. Oh, thank you, bro. The Pipecast. Can you explain to our listeners who uh, might not have listened to it what the premise of the Pipecast was? Yes. Yeah, so uh, it was the NBA NBA White Chocolate Pipecast. It was a uh, Jason Williams uh, tribute. Uh, you know, White Chocolate. We loved it. And it was just me and Adam from Cumbtown. Uh, we were just talking hoops. It's actually a lot like the show me and Sam do now where it's like, but with, with me and Adam, it was just like, I mean, how much podcasting are we going to do together constantly? But it was just, you know, truly a stupid show about basketball where we are we take that ethos of we're not going to prepare. We're, we'll watch games because I'm a fan. I mean, I love hoops. That's my number one sport. Um, and, you know, th the air has been taken out of my sails a little bit because the big Giannis guy. And so Giannis getting taken out. Really brutal. No one to really fucking root for left except Luca, who's about to lose, it feels like. Yep. So... It's really, um, it sucks because I, I love the NBA playoffs and I have nothing to root for anymore. But it was just that, dude. It was just bullshit and, you know. Usually talking about what their fuck game was like. We'd too. love to talk about their fuck game for sure. Yeah. And that's still, that's still going. A big thing I like to do is like, which coach fucks better? And that, you'll pr they will probably win the series. <laughs> and that's, that's what really breaks my heart because Ooh. you look at the Celtics, Ime Udoka lays pipe. Better than any of these motherfuckers. Is, Spolster think, feels like he could. Spolster, I think he goes down for like yeah. Spolster knows how hours to eat pussy, at a time. Yeah, but yeah. he's not the whole package. Udoka, I think he need pussy and give you a pounding. And <laughs> Steve Kerr, forget it. Bad back. Yeah, he's gonna lay he's there. Just laying there. You know what I mean? there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pillow yeah. princess. Wait, so what's going down on you? He's got the mask on, like a KN95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so this whole he's still theory, making your mask up. <laughs> this whole theory, though, you would think that the Jazz would have had better playoff success. That's true. That's true. Quinn, Quinn Snyder, like, definitely does some. Weird Here's the thing about shit. Quinn. Too much cocaine, dick doesn't work. Yep. Ah, that's my okay. theory. On Nailed Quinn. it. Yeah. If you hit him back in the Mizzou days when he was fucking his players. Uh, girlfriend <laughs> now we're, that's the, that's when he needed to be in the fucking NBA but he's out the vitality's gone his dick barely works and that's and actually I think I thought last year that this didn't work because I was obviously rooting for Giannis and Buddenholzer who 
on face value does not look like he can fuck. Correct. But power bottom. He oh. takes the fucking <laughs> biggest pounding you've ever seen in your life. We don't have to be heteronormative about this. He's a sub. You know what I mean? Yeah. And any dom would get tuckered out. Yeah, that's but good He's sex. such a sub yeah. Yeah. that he will, he will, it's kind of like Homer in that episode where he just keeps getting punched out. Yeah. That's what I think about Mike Buttonholzer's asshole. Yeah. Where it's like he can take a real beating, <laughs> whether it's getting pegged or getting fucked. And that's why they won last year. Yeah. How how sick was that though? For I mean, you're unbelievable. The, I started crying. Rooting for Giannis has got to be like you feel like a superhuman. It's unbelievable, <laughs> dude. And because like I have been on every Greek player that's ever like appeared. Like I remember, I remember being in high school and being like, remember that guy Baby Shack Sophocles Sorzanidis, <laughs> who was this? Who was like his dad was like some Greek like boat guy who just fucked a lady. I don't remember wearing like Cameroon or something. <laughs> and he was just like, all right, come on back to Greece. And he had like this little fat. He was like six six. Just built the Clippers drafted him, and I was like, and he never even made it over. He played summer league once. Uh, he never fucking made it over. And Giannis, I've been following just from the jump. I remember where I was when he got drafted. I remember I had a fucking. I went to Greece that summer. I still have a collectible. It's called Milko. It's like a little fucking ye like yoohoo of like of rookie year Giannis, and it was like I was always like, this is the fucking guy, and this has exceeded Everything. even my. Wa I mean, I could. I was hoping. You know, all star, which I think was reasonable. Like right. I thought, you know, that time he fucked he fucked up Mike Dunleavy's bitch ass was awesome when he pushed him into the. That was the moment I was like, hell yeah, dude. He's the best player in the NBA. Best player in the NBA works hard as fuck. Truly, like he's younger than me, but an inspiration to me. Where I'm like, <laughs> I I'm such a loser for being a fucking thirty plus year old man who looks at a twenty six year old who's more of a man has a wife and child. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. is at the pinnacle of his fuck. Like, truly, this guy who like you know. I'm sure you. How old do you? How old are you? Twenty six. Exactly. I don't respect this guy. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Giannis comes in here. I'm like, so Mr. Jante Tacumbo, <laughs> is there anything I can do? For, like, truly, a hero of mine who's six years younger than me. Um, and that was the fucking bet. Him winning. I started fucking crying. I was fucking bawling. I was like, I can't believe it, guy. Uh, my friends who aren't that into, like, they're they're kind of into hoops and, you know, whatever. They came over. They were just like, couldn't. They were like, what the fuck is going on? I, I was like, guys, I took out. I had enough Giannis jerseys for everyone to wear one. <laughs> I, had, I had six guys over. I was like, one's a jersey, so one of you gets the jersey. But <laughs> we, had, we don't have enough to go around. And it was the fucking best. I mean. Truly the one time since the Ravens won obviously I'm a big Ravens fan uh, the one the one they won I mean, I loved seeing Ed Reed get one, but the one I won when they were they won when I was in middle school Just means more to you because you're right. a fucking little kid, right? But since those I mean Giannis winning even though I'm, I don't give a fuck about Milwaukee truly like it's a cool city Whatever brats are nice, but it was all about Giannis. That was the best sports thing that's ever happened to me just because I maybe Greece winning the euro in know four maybe but I just love Giannis so much. Man. Yeah, he's he's so, a cool and his guy fucking too. story is unbelievable. It's yeah. like if you don't like that guy, you're a fucking piece of dog shit. Yeah, and it's truly and Boston's bitch ass getting lucky with middle the Middleton what I'm calling the Middleton asterisk, which I will not, <laughs> I will not allow them to enjoy this championship. Uh -huh. Should it happen, and it won't. Something's gonna let's go Spolstra, eat that pussy, <laughs> eat that pussy, beat Udoka. <laughs> it was awesome. Like after he won, and the very next day to celebrate, all he does he goes to Chick Fil A. I mean, I'm gets fifty. It wasn't even fifty nuggets, right? It was like the fifty. No, I believe tenders. it was fifty nuggets. Was it fifty nuggets? I believe so. And then the half and half, which was a game changer for me. Yeah. What was it? The uh, half lemonade, half Sprite. Oh, I see. It's fucking I delicious. Did, I, I'm not. I wasn't even first on his drink. I should have been looking. But like that's that's a nice move though. Respect. That's the coolest thing. Is like you just win an NBA championship, and what do you do? You go eat a shitload of fast food. Yeah, yeah. like things. that's my yes. dream. Yeah, that's yes. me coming back from a road weekend in San Diego. <laughs> that's how right. I. That's how I celebrate seven shows. Is yeah. getting fucking fried chicken. <laughs> He's the man. Um. I also appreciate you being a Baltimore guy. I feel like oh, yeah, Baltimore man. needs more visibility. We really do. We really fucking do. I'm from uh, Northern Virginia, so anything anything in like the remote D.C., Maryland, sure. Virginia area, I claim vicariously. But I've always had like an affinity for Baltimore because I used to go up there. The Orioles were my team when I was oh, like a yeah. little kid before we got the Nationals. Yeah, and yeah. people, if it weren't for the wire. Nobody would know shit about Baltimore. Yeah, Ray Lewis in the wire. Ray Lewis in the wire. Yeah. But like yeah. nobody really knows anything about the Baltimore culture sure. outside of what they saw in those five seasons on HBO. So yes. when you talk about it, it's 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 hilarious because like Baltimore is one of the weirdest places on earth. It's truly bizarre. And I grew up in I grew up in Greektown, which is like a fully isolated like little neighborhood that's like that's like all Greek people 
and but it's like it's bordered by the most trash you've ever seen in your life. Like it's totally like, yeah, you have like Baltimore white trash, which is a beautiful blend of white trash. These yeah. are the people who wear the the, the camo. Ra- ra- yes, dude. camo. Yes, yeah. Oh yeah, baby, the fucking ravings. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Those fucking guys, the guys that are like, yeah, Lamar's good, but. Something about Flacco that I miss. I can't, <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah. there was something I trusted more about Flacco. Like those fucking guys. Yeah. Traditionally. Yeah, yeah. There was right. something about him, just a pocket passer. <laughs> this guy's a fucking running back that we're going to let him throw the fucking ball. Like those guys. Yeah. Um, uh, very. F- I love those guys. Those, those, those pants are my favorite thing in sports. Uh, yeah. The purple camo is unbelievable. It's, and there, I, I don't think that they were the only team that got them. I think that was one of the like NFL initiatives of like the mid-2000s. Yeah. Like okay, our, our merch idea this year because it was like right during the Iraq War. Yeah, it was like yeah, big, yeah, big yeah, let's yeah, go yeah, USA so stuff. And they're yeah, like, okay, yeah. we're gonna put out every team's colors yep. in camo shorts. And every other fan base was like, yo, these suck. These stink. And then Baltimore was like, fuck yeah. Baltimore was like, oh, these look pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm about to wear these to my child support hearing after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we won. Ray won this one. I'm about to keep these for good luck. And that bitch ain't getting a dime of my money. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> I love those guys. A bunch of those guys were all like. Oh, my God. They were so funny. There was, like, counter-protests in Baltimore going on when Ray Rice got suspended, which is like, (laughs) is there a more completely open and shut fuck this guy <laughs> thing we've ever seen in our lives and these guys were all like this is fucking bullshit you know put Ray back on the fucking field it was like I had yo, I had a cousin that worked over there at that elevator shit didn't go down the way you think it was going worked down yo. <laughs> he was <laughs> yeah y'all believe anything the fucking media wants to tell you yo like it's so funny these fucking idiots <laughs> but yeah the Ravens I mean <laughs> I love it yeah I so um <laughs> I don't even know where to go from the Ravens. I could keep doing Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, just keep. I was just. I would love. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep hitting the clock. Yeah, like, just yeah, keep yeah, pulling, yeah, pulling yeah. the string. I don't, I don't have a question. I want to pull the string. I love these guys. What's, yeah. what's the best uh, dive bar in Baltimore? Ooh, best dive bar. Interesting. I really like the Crown, which is like this old abandoned Korean mall that's on like it's on the second floor of this Korean mall. That place is sick. Club Charles. Those those are my two. Those are my two go tos. Real hipstery type shit. Mm-hmm. You um, like Natty Bo? <clears throat> oh, yeah, you got to. Natty Bo is it's a really interesting beer because it doesn't exist outside the city of Baltimore. Yeah, like, yeah, nobody yeah. knows it. It's about not it. good. It's yeah. just like, no, it's not. It it's, tastes exactly like every light beer you've ever had in your life, but. It's like shitty beer. Pride, baby. But people in Baltimore absolutely love it. But it's never made its way outside of the city. Yeah, ever. yeah, that's true. I guess I don't really see it here either. I mean, I don't think they have trucks. I don't think that they ship it anywhere. No, it's just like no, a, no. It's a guy on a bike that just yeah, takes yeah, it around yeah, to all the bars. Yeah, He's yeah, like, drink yeah, up, yeah. guys. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, dude, I fucking. Um, I mean, I was. The truth is, I was such a fuck. Like, I was just doing comedy constantly. So it's like I was hanging out wherever there was fucking wherever there was just comedy shows, and that's right. why I love those two places. Um, but I mean, there's some there's some hilarious. Pl- I mean. I do love fucking Baltimore so much because because of those guys, and then it's just like, I don't know. It's just such mm-hmm. a hilarious. I'm the characters are they're yeah. the best. And I was honestly, I was off football. You know, sorry. I know what fucking podcast I'm on. It was a little bit of the like. It was like, damn, these owners really don't treat the fucking players right. The Colin Kaepernick chick, you know, he's he's fucking blackballed, uh, and a guy who hits his wife is you know suspended two games a guy who gambles is suspended the fucking whole year i was on that type of shit and then we drafted lamar and i was like whoa let's fucking go i was watching that draft being like this is over i'm done with football just don't draft lamar because there was like mm-hmm. that little bit of like he's gonna fall he might one in a million change is gonna fall and then he we got him he's better than you ever could have fucking expected and the, the ravens are just they are the model of consistency i know like i know that the patriots hard, obviously have had yeah. more super bowls but like when you look at the ravens it's crazy how year in year out you're just like even this year's draft, where it's like oh, oh yeah. they got a they got a center and a safety yep yeah. hall of fame and those They're guys going are going together be fucking awesome yeah, yeah. right it's yeah, just yeah. every year they just know what to do and even after Ozzy left like that's the other thing it's like that was the point where I was like oh we're fucked because that's 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 how these things go there's one guy who really is the architect they figured out how to that institutional knowledge is there which is annoying for me. Because I can't be on my SJW shit. I have to keep mm-hmm. watching football. Right. Yeah, if you keep, have a winner. I have to keep watching yeah, football yeah. until Lamar is gone. Yeah. The second they draft like some shitty quarterback as a, as oh. a replacement, they go like 4-13. and 13. Oh. You're like, you know what? I really 
I really disagree. I'm finding with, my morals again. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just funny how they found pretty... him under the couch. <laughs> yeah, like, the flyovers yeah. is a waste of taxpayer money. At yeah. This yeah, 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 yeah. Here yeah. they are. Yeah, <laughs> even even this like it is, and I love Lamar too because he's out of his fucking mind. Like that's what you want out of an athlete is just like you want him to only be good at one thing. Like, yeah. Every time Lamar talks, it's like, what the fuck are you even? Like he kept getting co- he got COVID like eight times somehow. <laughs> he keeps having to shit himself, and yeah. he's still incredible. Like that's yeah. that's my why guy. the buddy pregnant. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. was an all time. We say that line like once a week because it's so fucking he's the, funny. He's the best, dude. He's so Buddy fucking Brad. good. I, I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit worried about Lamar on the Ravens, though. I feel like going into your fifth year, because yeah. like they they haven't given him an extension. They haven't really made any well, he's progress. Doing his own well, that's contract. the thing. He's yeah. doing his own, he's he's doing his own, own agent. Yeah, yeah, but I I don't know, man. I, I get the feeling like they're weird about how much time he's losing with like diarrhea and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He would just be announced like last second, oh, Lamar didn't practice again today because he was... Yeah, cholera. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he's got, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's got E. coli basically <laughs> yeah. every day. He's just shitting himself. And the team was like, like real weird about it. Like, I'm they worried about that about too. No, so, I'm, I'm truly worried about him like working on his own thing and like them not paying him. It's like pay the fucking guy. He's that fucking good. I don't want to hear any bullshit about how he's, like, I, I know, I mean, that fucking Titans loss was whatever, but it's like, that's the problem with football is like, it's one game. I, you know, the NBA, people can fucking shit the bed all the time. It happens within a series. No one really pays attention because it's seven games, but that can, that shit just happens sometimes. And they, that was a better game plan. And I think if Lamar doesn't get hurt this year, I think they they have as good a chance as the fucking piece of shit Bengals. They can suck my fucking dick. Any the whole division. Oh yeah, fuck Joe Burrow. Yo, how about you burrow underneath my fucking nuts and take a suckle, you little pretty boy motherfucker? <laughs> Sorry, he he took over my body. Oh, I feel like, I feel like I'm getting a seance. We and are fuck, a Joe Burrow podcast. Yeah, I know, but a I'm a, listen. Ours. I know you guys are, but what the fuck? I was gonna come in here wearing purple and not take a shot at him. I had to. Yeah, do yeah. To. And also fuck the Steelers while I'm at it. Yeah, yeah fuck Ben Roethlisberger, yo. <laughs> Go, go to hell! Look, I, I do love the Steelers fans having to to like come to grips with Deshaun Watson being on the Browns, being like, "This is not fair." It's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> look, I respected what he did in that bathroom, but I, he was on the field. He was a dirty player. <laughs> That's the problem he has with them. <laughs> what, what? Yeah, it's <laughs> boys will be fucking boys. Gotta let off a little steam, but on the fucking court, on the field, you gotta stop being a fucking dirty player. Okay. I went to a uh, I went to a Steelers preseason game one year. They had, that's the year they had like Michael Vick as their backup quarterback, and there was a oh, massive fuck, protest yes. outside the stadium. I love that. And there was this there was this lady that was holding up a sign that said like. Hey, Michael Vick, this is what a real quarterback looks like. It was no. a picture of Ben Roethlisberger. Shut the fuck up. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> and it was like, I thought, I thought, it's I, so thought good. I thought I was looking at like an onion on like an actual person who was the onion. Incredible. And I was like, this is, are you doing a bit right that now? That is so funny. Like, are you good. here for the same reason I'm doing? Or are yeah, you doing yeah, a bit yeah, too? Yeah. And she was like, no, it's just disgusting. I don't think that like the league should not have any room in it for any player that would hurt a dog. <laughs> 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 fucking idiots, dude. And fuck the Browns, too, obviously. Obviously. Sorry, I didn't say that. And that is the annoying thing about Burrow is that it's the first, like, Steelers wholeheartedly hated with my whole heart, mm-hmm. right? Not even an issue. Rapist quarterback. Th- like, I'm. that sucks that it happened, but I'm glad I got to root against him, right? Mm-hmm. And I, he should be in jail. Did, now you're just going to give us another rapist quarterback. It almost <laughs> feels, like, too easy to, like, hate. The brown, of course, they just keep employing our rivals, keep employing rapists. So fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck them. And then that's the hard thing about the Bengals. Like Burrow is cool. I have to admit that yeah. he's fucking sick. Like he's a good dude. He's good. He's fucking. He took that. Like that's a that is a legendary run. Like yeah. He, like football is hard to get there. Like it's really hard. And and it's like everything did kind of line up for them, but still, you know, that it was because of him. That fucking line sucked dick. So it's tough to have a guy that it's like. Now, I'm not rooting for anybody to come out with anything about Joe. <laughs> well, let me put that clear. But yeah. <laughs> and you can cut that. <laughs> Where the, you can cut me soliciting uh, jo- bad stories about Joe Burrow. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be sexual assault. It could be something else. It could be... He didn't sign a kid's autograph. Exactly. Yeah. I want, he spit on a child. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be... We don't have to go full Roethlisberger with it. <laughs> but give me something to hate the fucking guy with. Let his hair start falling out. Let, that would Honestly, then I would be like, all right, he's... He's on the team. If Burrow was balding and just had to fucking had to do a comb over, if he got like, a, like real bad acting, yeah. 
yeah. like cystic yeah. acne. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me some. The fucking guy's got it too easy. He does have to live in Cincinnati. Fuck that place. Yeah. Uh, uh, does does the theory about coaches being like good at fucking does that hold over to the NFL? Oh, well? that's very interesting. I haven't given it as much thought, but we can do it on the fly here. Because right I now. don't, I don't think that they're like if you look across the league, they're like maybe I mean, a handful of guys I mean, that would be competent. McVeigh. McVay. McVay winning a Super Bowl this year would maybe help you out because he definitely. Yeah. You know what I say? He seems like a little, uh, like uh, too much show, not enough go. Correct. When it comes to fucking. Or well, maybe, he's 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 got like he likes to take his shirt off and do a dance, right. like you know, like right. Patrick Bateman watching yes, himself yes, in the mirror. Yes, yes, yes. He can fucking. only come if he can look at his pecs. <laughs> yeah, while right. He's, while he's <laughs> right. If he can yeah. look at a play sheet, <laughs> <laughs> he's just reciting old plays from yeah. ten years ago while he's trying to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I feel like he'd be like a jackrabbit too, just like real fast. That's yeah. true. Like he he only cares about himself. Yeah. Oh, true, true, true. The yeah. Harbaugh's. I mean. We we're good friends with Jim Harbaugh, and yeah. he we're pretty sure he just has sex just to procreate. Uh-huh. That's, That's it. the problem with football. If football guys in general, yeah, they love football so much they don't get pussy, right? Mm-hmm. Which is crazy because it's like as a football star. That's kind of the the gateway in. They get you get all your pussy in high school as a football guy. You fuck all in college and high school, and then you're done. You're like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Once in a while. Yeah. yeah, but they yeah. they are like football coaches. They they basically only have sex to just create more football coaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. That's all they're Deuce doing. Two Scrudens out there yeah. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they're not doing it for pleasure. They're no, like, no, we no. just need to keep filling these football coaches. I need roles. someone to run some cover two drills. <laughs> that's why I'm busting inside you tonight. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. It ain't happening tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking his wife when she's ovulating. <laughs> so he's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, we were saying that, that John Har or Jim Harbaugh just gets a boner like once a month. Yeah, it's like it's time. It's yeah. back again. <laughs> it's back again. Babies. Yeah. Let's I just do had it. a big win last night. 100%. I only have winning yeah. babies. I don't yeah. fuck after losses. <laughs> you don't want that juju no. on your nut. Um, I think Belichick gets it done. Yeah. He's, I, he knows all the tricks. I, the exactly. Yeah. He's a guy who studied like the Kama Sutra. He knows. He's watched those videos where they teach you how to make a woman squirt over and over. <laughs> you know what I mean? B- Bill's just like assume the position, yeah. and his fucking wife gets on all fours. He's got like a special fuck pillow. Yeah. He's just like da 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 with this. He's got the. He does He can come on. Like he can wait forever. Yeah. To come like yeah, he, yeah, he has yeah. a control. Yeah. Yeah. Where absolutely. he's just like nope. I'm not done. He does. He does like cock kegels. Where he, just, he knows how to bring that little. Vein in your cock, <laughs> he knows how to open and close it on command for sure, without question. That could work. Yeah. <laughs> um, what well, I, I like, I feel like comedy has like right now everyone wants to be a, a comedian. Does that feel? Does that feel right? I don't know, dude. It's inter- That's we. I, I don't. Maybe I do think there is like a. I do think there's maybe a little bit of like a comeback because I think for the last like ten years no one really gave a fuck about comedy. It's weird that like. Everyone like cares this much about what comedians have to say. Which, right. Like to me, again, I take the view like we're clowns. We're the lowest form of show business. I'm doing this because at 19, I didn't want a job. Right. Like that's the only reason, and that's honestly most comedians. It's like the good ones just like kind of fell into it. We're fucking idiots. We learned how to tell jokes, but like I've gotten dumber every year since 20, <laughs> without question. Yeah. I yeah. was pretty smart in college, and I just forgot everything so I could learn about like. Calling so saying someone's asking someone in the front row the last time they ate pussy. You know what I, mean? like I know, like the way the way like uh, Ed Reed would watch film and be prepared for every possible answer. That's my brain on when it comes to like sexual crowd work. You know? yeah. <laughs> and so I don't fucking know what's going on in the world. You right. know? I have a basic idea of like we should treat people better and the fuck we're a fucking we're the richest country in the history of the world. Nobody should fucking be homeless and shit like that. I have basic ideas, but I don't fucking I don't go out there and like, you know, try and make points or everything. So I do find it very funny that everyone gives a fuck like Ricky Gervais. Right. I haven't seen the last thing he's doing, the trans shit. I'm sure it's dog shit. Like, I'm sure it's just hack and it's just like hateful. and It's the kind of thing you have to do to get a rise out of people. Well, it's punching of, down. And that's, exactly, the, that's yeah, yeah. the problem. Like, I think people at the end of the day, like comedians, if you. People can tell when you punch down. Yeah. They can tell. They can be like, hey, that's me and you're punching down. Well, Gervais has always been a guy that's like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to shock the world. Right, yeah. exactly. Like, like he, like, he does look at himself as like we were talking earlier, we're the last truth tellers out there. Exactly. I'm about, I'm and about, we're not. I'm going to say some yeah. things that will make you uncomfortable. He's taking out like full page ads. Yeah. Being like, fuck trans people. Does that offend you? Exactly. Sorry. And that's shit you do when you're 20, right? Yeah. Right. And Norm MacDonald had a great line where people, he said this, where he was like, RIP, one of the best ever. We were, people were like, People say comedians are the modern day philosophers. He's like, you know who I think are modern day philosophers? 
philosophers. Right. <laughs> like, we're still making them. Yeah. They're still going to school. They're reading about philosophy. Mm -hmm. They're not getting drunk and trying to get pussy from a waitress their whole, like, you know, 20s. So it's like, <laughs> A, I think, like, come, like, I do think comedy is cooler again, but I also, there is a little bit with that where it's like, and back to come down a little bit where it's like, I, you know, I joke about it being whatever, but it's like, I don't want to be fucking Ricky Gervais is like 60 and he's, talking yeah. about, and he's trying to shock people. Right. That's pathetic. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I want to fuck it. Like, that's a young man's game, saying the dumbest shit in the world. And that's a little bit about, come, as much as I love it, it's like, you know, I'm fucking, thir we, when we started this, I was in my uh, mid-20s. I was living in a windowless room. I'm 33. You know what I mean? Like You're I, rich. I'm rich. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I have money. I'm like... I, I have a window now. You know what nice. I mean? Like multiple, I, I, I would I assume. I have multiple windows, <laughs> one in my living room, one in my fucking bedroom. You got a door uh, in your apartment now? Yeah, dude. It closes and everything. When you get that first door, that's, that's a big, big step up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That <laughs> yeah, first non-cardboard door. I was just like opening it and closing it. I was like, this is incredible. Have, have you guys... So I just wanted... Yeah. So, that's, so that's the... Uh, like, And comedy should just be like fun and a good ass time. Like I, hanging out. That's what I think my biggest skill is. Like... I'm just a good time. I'm a good hang. Fucking listen to a podcast. Talk to me on stage. Watch my special. It's going to be fun. You're going right. to have a good-ass time. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to make you fucking think. Yeah, I'm no, trying to make you laugh, bro. You, you're and maybe suck my dick after the show if you're a hot girl. <laughs> Those are my two aims. Yeah. No, you're like, absolutely actually, right, Actually, I'll put though. that one first. Yeah. That really suck is the reason first, I do. Yeah. Yeah, if like, I would, you, would you enjoy doing stand-up comedy if it was just hot chicks and they didn't laugh at all at any of your jokes, mm. but you were on stage and then you were definitely going to get your peener sucked afterwards? That's you a, still got paid. You get paid, but nobody no laughs, one laughs ever. Now this is tough because remember what I said. I'm not a philosopher, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is this is a philosophical quandary. <laughs> it, I guess it would depend how good the top was. <laughs> like, is, that, <laughs> is there a way I could know? But that would I, get old, right? Like that would get. Old. I would assume after like You'd a week. Want the laughs. You're you know? right. There is a part of you that wants, but like you just want attention. You're a little attention hog. You know what I mean? Like that's definitely who I was when I was a little kid, and it's who I am now. And they're both kind of the same thing, where it's like. You just want attention either from the masses or from like one hot girl. You know right. What I mean? like, right. Take, Whichever way. Take, we, yeah. Give me I'd either like or. Both. Yeah. I'd like, I'd like a, I'd like a sampler. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want a little sampler pack. I don't want one or the other. What's, sure. I mean, I love your, you are spot on that like being a good hang is like, it's, you know, it's not rocket science. That's it's it. like people want to hang out with you. Like your good and time. I like hanging out. Too. Right. I don't, that's my job. That's, I went, I like to think of it as like, I went pro at hanging out. That's what a fucking. I like that. That's what I podcasting, feel the same that's way. What comedy, sometimes. truly, yeah, you guys yeah. definitely are like that. And there's different like directions to take it. You know, I was actually gonna hit you up about uh, the Bulls Buck series to uh, see if you'd want to do a live stream, but the Bulls were such a joke by yeah. the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, I'm not gonna do this. But well, you should. I would. I would love. You to should come, back. come hang yeah, for yeah. Uh, NFL Sunday. That would be oh, very, very absolutely funny. a big Ravens game. I would love to. Yeah. Be for that. Oh, for maybe sure. a Ravens Steelers. You versus Jersey Jerry. We got a character here, Jersey Jerry. That is. Like literally, he'll come in on a Tuesday, and he's got the Steelers shoes, shorts, like Love you know, that. jumper. He DMs their best players on their birthdays every year. He DMs their <laughs> dude. He DMs Mitch Trubisky's man. wife when they got when they signed him. Like, yeah, no, you remember the we, we had him, we have him on every now and then, and he he like totally unironically did the exact same thing as Mac and Always Sunny with Chase Utley. He did that with TJ Watt. That's awesome. Where he was like. <laughs> <laughs> and when we when Mitch got signed, like one of our our colleagues, C Caleb, uh, is like best friends with Mitch. Oh hell! And yeah. he like he basically was like, I don't really want to interview Mitch. I just want to maybe have a catch with him, see how his spiral <laughs> looks. <laughs> Dead serious. Dead serious. Like I'm He's not doing even reporting. Dude, yeah, not even joking. That's awesome. But yeah, man. no, you you're right though. Hang like you, you are very very good at that. What what's the closest? Have you guys ever come close to like? being quote unquote canceled or had like the fire come your way and I what mean, was your reaction there's that's the thing it's like there's nothing to take from me right i'm putting my special out on fucking youtube right <laughs> like, right. You know, like believe me i wish i was cancelable i'm a guy with a fucking podcast it happens to make a lot of money but it's not like i'm not you know like what happened to shane is fucked up i think that was completely what you know that's a very simple as an oversimplification of who he was he's a hysterical comic one of the best people honestly uh, one of the nicest guys in comedy one of the nicest guys i know period so to take the shit he said when he was like struggling and like just kind of podcasting to try and figure something out and take it out of context and make him lose the biggest opportunity in comedy, whatever you want to say about SNL, it's the biggest show. Like, you know, you launch your career off that show. Right. And Shane would have been a fucking, he still is going oh, to his, be. Oh, his, his he's fucking stuff hilarious. is hilarious. Oh, so yeah. funny. Hey, but he would have, like, they took something very tangible away from him. Yeah. 
I don't got NBC trying to give me a fuck. You know what I mean? They're not trying to put me on SNL. No one's trying to put me on TV. I think it but, worked, it worked out for Shane, though. Yeah, I, I think that... Uh, well, he but, was going to be fine because he's so funny, but, you know, he'd but be... But also, there's, like, boxes that you have to play in there where it's like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And you also have to, like, you know, it's it's not going to be your sketches that get made every single week there. Right, right. So right. I, I feel like the, what he's got set up is actually, it's kind of like when, when Big Cat and I yeah. uh, got fired at ESPN2 <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. after it's half the, a show. I, I was, I, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Because I, I, I dip in and out. I'm a, you know, I was in, you were in the heavy rotation now. I just don't listen to podcasts as much. But I remember that entire saga. You guys really got your asses fucked on that one. But it, it's it's similar to Shane where it's like the, it's good. um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. enjoyed it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're Budenholzer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are a couple We're, power bottoms. Yeah. I'll give you that. <laughs> no, I, I've always said it's it's like the lesson learned from that is like it's like the mob trying to go for real. Right? It's like, don't get that's out of your lane. Point. That's a great point. And like you, like that's what I love about you guys is you guys have your audience and you have your audience and like yeah. you, you now can live in a world where it's like your audience is enough and you don't have to step out and play by these rules that everyone wants to put on everyone else. Like yeah, and it's like look, I just I just want to fucking put my. Like, I want my comedy out there, and then, like, I want to do other shit, too. Like, I'm interested in acting. I'm interested in, like, m you know, making my own stuff. But it's like, you know, I'll just make my own shit. You right. know what I mean? And it's like, at a certain point, it's also like, I do, I have to think people have to realize, like, words aren't the fucking problem. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, a, jo a, a truly a joke is not the issue. Co again, comedians are not who you need to be fucking, I don't want to get too political, but it's like, you know, there's some real, there's some real actual shit going on, you know, like in our country that we could actually put some of that. But I think that's also a it, people are so powerless now that it's like yes. we feel like we can't do shit. So it's like, well, why don't we take this guy's fucking? Why don't we make sure that this comedian's family can't get health care <laughs> yeah. because he said something we didn't because we said something we didn't like? That will make us feel better because we don't have the balls to assassinate a politician. A <laughs> <laughs> the culture wars are like so much easier to go after too. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They're more readily accessible. It's like I can go online and yell at a celebrity, yeah, and those yeah. people just keep coming online, being like, "Why is my life hollow?" Right, right, <laughs> like, right, right, right. I spend right, all day right, trying right. to ruin other people's lives, yeah, yet I can't yeah, find yeah, happiness. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. How's this not working for me? I know. And the nice thing is, is like I true like. It was a little bit like when you first get any kind of like online fame, it's like it is a bit of a shock and it's like can be a little desensitized. Yeah. It can fuck you up. But like, honestly, I feel like I kind of got my vaccine where it's like that happened early on in Cumbtown. I don't look at shit anymore. Like I my YouTube channel is another thing that I want to plug. Like, please go watch it. I put yes. stand up every day. Uh, I put a clip every day. And then I also put two longer clips there a week. Um, and that's where the special will come out. It's just my name, Stavros Halkis. Um uh, I'm really like, you know, I really want to fucking put a lot of energy into that because I just love stand up. I want people to see more of it. But I don't read a fucking comment. I don't read my you Instagram comment. I don't read a TikTok comment. Like, that's over for me. I don't go on Reddit. I don't even know how to use Reddit. We, so it's I, perfect. I, yeah. Know? We, I, I had the same path where it's like early on, I would read everything. And then you get to a point, you're like, what am I, why am I doing this? Because now it's affecting my own creative, yes, like, energy totally. where it's like, I feel like low at the end of the day because I'm reading. You know, ten positive comments, but one negative one, and then you just cut it all out, and it's so freeing. Yeah, because it's like n none of it really matters. Who They're yelling to avoid, and I love the people who care enough. Like they obviously are fans, exactly. But every fandom, every online like interaction goes the same. It's like starts as a fan, and then just is like these guys suck now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the evolution of everything. It's like and Dennis Qua or Randy Quaid yeah. in, in Major League. Where he becomes such a big fan, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he goes yeah, yeah. to every fucking game, but he's yeah. on the outfield. Be like, "Wild thing, you stink." Yeah, you right, fucking right, stink. Right. And he's got like the Same, big X on. Yeah. yeah, every and it's like I don't even blame him because it's like, yeah, if you listen to something forever and you and you have to and you like try to talk about it every day, you're gonna eventually just be like, "Yeah, these guys suck." Yeah, because it's not fun to say these guys are awesome all the time. And but that's the thing. It's like, why do you have to talk? Like, why do you have to talk about it? I'm I mean, a fan I, yeah, of shit. Yeah. I'm a fan of shit. I don't fucking talk. You know, I just enjoy the thing. You yeah. Know I mean, like, I do listen to the podcast, you know, or like other podcasts that I like to listen to. It's like, I don't fucking think about their personal lives. You know what I mean? I just enjoy, I enjoy the fucking thing they're putting out. And the other thing is, I, there's ways to like interact. Like, that's why I do love going on the road, even though it's like grueling and it's like, you know, you're just, t you miss, like, I've been on the road nine months. I'm getting fat as fuck as a result. I'm just, my whole life is nothing but, you know, comedy fucking chicken tenders and just like trying to get my dick sucked and that that can <laughs> it's not take a bad life. it's not a bad life but, but listen if there was a pill i could take where i didn't gain 
60 pounds every time I went on a fucking six month tour that would be heaven yeah but it's like I feel my body you know I'm fucking I'm, I'm hitting the big and tall store you know what I mean I'm, I'm dipping my little nuts back into the big and tall store yeah. it's always tough when you have to go back you're like I thought I was done with this place oh forever. no dude I've, I've <laughs> talked about I had to size up this last year yeah. and the worst part so, for me was like all these people send me free shit which is great I'm not yes. complaining about that Same, but having think, to hit them up and be like hey double XL now hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah like hey do you guys make three X yeah like uh, <laughs> you, you send me a bunch of free shit I appreciate yeah. it but yeah. It doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, dude, absolutely. But, but like that's also why I like being on the road is because like you interact with people in a act in an actual Correct. way. Where it's like I'm on stage and I I stay I meet people afterwards because like it does like that's how I want to interact with you like a real human being and it's like you know obviously it's not forever but I'll try and chat a little bit with people and it's like that's like that also is the problem with the internet too. I mean we all it, we've gone through it a hundred times. Yeah. But that's why I like the live shows more because it's like. I'll shake your hand. I'll thank you. And I'm being sincere, too. I love that people come out to see me. That's my favorite part of all of this is performing live. So, right. And that's, you know, that's just a better way to interact with somebody. It, yeah. blo it blows my mind every time we go out and, like, we'll do, like, a, a meetup and it would just be like, holy fuck. Like, there's this, you know, we went to Buffalo yeah. last yeah, yeah, last yeah. Uh, summer and we were like, hey, we're going to be at this bar for two hours. I don't think like we took pictures for two hours straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. you walk away, and it's almost refreshing. It's like, totally. oh my god, there's an entire world out here that they don't give a fuck about whatever war Barstool's in at this moment, or yeah. like whatever controversy is going on. They just want to laugh. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's the best feeling ever. And they like you guys personally, right? You know and what I mean? Like ninety nine point nine percent of the time, they're awesome people. Yeah, like just yeah. very normal, regular people that I love hanging out with. Totally. Like it's actually it's it is refreshing to see that experience like face to face as opposed to just like somebody replying to a tweet being like yo the audio is off in this fucking episode. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Like yeah. it's nice to know that like people care about you, you care about them. Yeah, it's, I think it's a more healthy way to, to like experience comedy too is face to face. That's that's the whole to, like, fucking thing. Press play, listen to it on a machine, and then stop. Oh, it. Dude, a hundred percent. And that's what's weird is like I don't like I didn't have the internet until I was like fucking fourteen. Yeah, like, no, I'm we're not, the last. How old are you? I'm thirty three. Right, so we're both thirty seven. Oh, PFT yeah. is more like 27. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah he, but no, I think we're the last, this like 30s, mid mid 30s to late 30s. Yeah, depending on how poor you were. But it's the last. <laughs> yeah, no, but I didn't have a, a, yeah, I didn't have a yeah, cell phone until yeah. I was 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so it's yeah. like the last, like Facebook was invented when I was like a junior in college. Right, like it's right, the last. Right. Now I remember my cousin in college showing me Facebook and me being like, you dumb bitch, you're putting your name on the internet? <laughs> you know, and now it's like, now it's like, you know, I have thousands of hours talking about how little and fucked up my dick is just on the internet. That's it. It's like, I, like my, you know, if my family, so I'm having like nieces and nephews and shit like, like oh, yeah. they're going to be able to like, oh, that's the, oh, I'm yeah. like, oh fuck, that's all out there. You know yeah, what I mean? I was, like, uh, was joking about, your uncle was joking about his dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah, not yeah. true. <laughs> uh. But yeah, man, it's fu it is fucking wild. Um, well, this has been awesome. Dude, everyone, for everyone, me. check out the the special. We'd love to have you back on, dude. Anytime, maybe talk some NBA basketball. I'd love yeah. to talk hoops. I I actually do know about hoops. I fucking I love it so much. Um, and when Giannis is back in the mix, and then yeah, fucking bring me out for a for a big Ravens game. Yes, dude, I'd love to do that. That that would be must watch. You versus Jersey Jerry. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got one last question. We got the row back. We got gear for you if you want it. Ooh, I love it. R H O B A C K. Use code take for twenty percent off your first purchase. Uh, Q zips hoodies. Uh, everything out there. Actually, should we get Billy in here to ask a question? Yeah, because yeah, Billy and Stav. Let's get Billy in. I'd here. love to interact with Billy. Yeah, Billy. I don't know what. And and don't tell him. Just get him in here, yeah. because when he doesn't know, he has to ask a question. It's the he ha we had Ryan Whitney on, who's you know a, a coworker, and we I just was like Billy, ask him a question at the end, and he just goes, "So how was your Saturday?" <laughs> and it was Wednesday. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fucking awesome. His brain just like stops yeah. working. What was the last one he asked? He was like, "Uh, what is." What does your shirt say? Yeah, it was yeah. Like, it's just a brand name. It was like Russell yeah. Athletic. It, yeah. it says Russell Athletic. What a fucking broadcaster he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the. He's got it. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's got, got it. the it factor. He's got it. All right, let's see. All right, Billy. Billy. Here oh, he he's is. Looking tired. Ooh, looking awesome. He's looking very tired. See, this is a guy that I said was unironically dressed as Duff Man. You look, yeah, you look right. sick, dude. That's a totally normal <laughs> outfit. Um, <laughs> Billy, you have a last question for Stav? Yes. What's up, dude? How... You're an extremely successful podcaster. <laughs> yeah. Wow, the, the wanna... wind up. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to find his words to land this plane. Usually he'll say, quick question, yeah. and then that okay. buys him another like, five seconds to stop and think. Well, I just would like to know, like, 
if you had to uh, give any advice to young, inspire, aspiring oh, wow. podcasters. <laughs> this is a really good question, Billy. This is something I've never been asked. <laughs> <laughs> young is... Um, Wait, was there a question? Yeah. What, what, if I had to, what would I say? <laughs> um, well, I guess I would, I would ridicule the person who asked me that question. That would be step one uh, in this hypothetical <laughs> if I had to do it. And then I would say, don't do it. Get a job. Go to community college. Uh, it's not going to work out. Mm -hmm. I think those would be my main <laughs> takeaways. But you I have to understand, to... Billy's asking in this specific situation, how does he get me or PFT dead? Right, right, like, right. That's right, all right. he's okay. asking. How does he kill? He's not asking young, aspiring podcasters. I saying, see. How can I kill this PFT is like, or Big Cat without anyone knowing This is me? Barstool Succession right now. Yeah. He's Kendall. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to get Dude, you guys. We, jo <laughs> we joked about it the other day in the car. We were just like, I don't know where we were doing or where we are going. But we're like, what would Billy's reaction be if one of us died? And then, like, we, we all were laughing. Next like, man up. Yeah, Let's no, get Billy like, in the chair. would be like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> and then, be like, everyone, like, round on me. I, yeah. I just got to raise. It's and like we, when your dog starts to eat you when you die. Yeah. That would be Billy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he'd, like, go to the door for a little bit. He'd, like, sniff around, see if anybody's coming, and, like, check for breath, and then be like, Oh, this seems I gotta empty. Eat. I, I yeah. gotta eat too. Yeah. So he really is dead, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess someone's gotta sit here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Billy, let me ask you a question. Uh, something I've been wondering is, do you eat pussy? Oh, because you got a big neck. You got a thick <laughs> neck. It seems like it could it could handle some pussy eating. But some about you said maybe the camo Crocs is what it is. <laughs> Tell me you don't eat pussy. So let's. Can I ask you that? And what would you say? It's not keto. It's not keto. It's very keto. What are yeah, you talking dude, about? Too, it's Pussy too, juice is keto, bro. Dude, too many calories. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no, huh? Tough. Well, you know what? Uh, then you're not getting the podcasting. The only people who get podcasting advice are the guys who eat pussy. You gotta have. So, <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm withholding. Yeah. <laughs> Until, come back. Let these guys know you ate pussy, and then I'll give you that's the good. advice. That's fast. That's good Can we check in? Can yes. you let me know when yeah, he's eating yeah. pussy? It's right. also like that's how you get podcasting voice. You gotta have a little <laughs> pussy true. in your throat. I got the Michael. I got Michael Douglas pussy throat. Throat cancer on purpose. <laughs> if you listen to me you six years crap. ago, I had a higher pitched voice. I had to bring it down to the radio, and that's what. Yeah, you're a little, you're, you're a little nasally, Billy. I would eat pussy just for the sound alone. He's got deviated septum. He might, he might Billy him. might actually choke on pussy. He's so uncomfortable right now. He's so uncomfortable. Dude, I, I've just been in the woods in solitary. Actually, I actually shouldn't say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you weren't in solitary confinement. Yeah. Billy can't Basically. say a sentence without incriminating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good question, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Great yeah. question. Would you like Roback? I've already been offered Roback, <laughs> and, and yes, I'll take it. Thank yes. you, Billy. Perfect. All right, Stav, thanks again. Thanks, guys. We've got to have you back on. Anytime. Broke the seal. I know. I can already tell this is going to be a fan favorite interview. I love it. I so, love, yeah. Everyone, I love please it. watch the special. Just. Turn it on and just keep playing. Turn it on, keep fucking playing it. Put it with just a little bit of volume. Let it fucking play over and over again. Uh, June fifth, Sunday, eight o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Pacific. I'm gonna do like an actual premiere where I'll be in the live chat, fucking around with people in the thing. It's Hell apparently yes. it's apparently good for the numbers if people watch it the first in the premiere, or at least the first couple. We'll hop after. in too. Yeah. Please hop we'll in. We'll be I in. Would love that. The part of my huge. take account will be in. Billy, there. I, I hope you've eaten pussy by June fifth. Okay. Would you like to hop in on TikTok with these guys? No, we're not doing 30 <laughs> minutes of TikTok. Okay, what about, what about 15? No, that's we'll do it so later much tonight TikTok. or tomorrow. So behind on TikTok. That's, okay, well, that's... I you mean, were out, that's a you problem. Billy you fucking rocks, dude. <laughs> He's just shitty at his job, begging on, <laughs> begging on the air for his bosses to help him. <laughs> you just summed it all up so perfectly. You've been in this office for one hour. You are a truth teller. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess you're right. the truth tellers of America. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank Stop. you, boys. Thanks for having me. Stop.